An Ottawa student accused of cheating on her SAT. Testing officials say her massive improvement is suspicious, but she says she didn't do anything wrong. Samantha Bryant has the details on this test score dilemma. Camilla Campbell, a senior here at Crop Senior High School, says she took the SAT twice and was able to improve her score by 300 points. While administrators with ETS didn't buy it, and they're saying that they're holding her scores. Now she may miss the deadline for her dream college. Camilla Campbell, senior at Dr. Michael Crop Senior High School, dreams of going to Florida State University. This week is crunch time as many college applications, including FSUs, are due on January 1st, yeah, but Campbell may miss it due to her SAT scores. I waited for four weeks for my score, only to get told that I have to wait another six weeks, and then they didn't tell me anything afterwards. I had to keep calling and calling, and then when they finally answered the phone, they're telling me, oh, well, you have to provide documentation that you study because we don't believe your score is valid. According to the paperwork we received from her, she got a 900 in March 2018 and improved almost 300 points in October. But the educational testing service officials aren't buying it. On December 19th, they sent her a statement saying, we are writing you because based on preliminary review, there appears to be substantial evidence that your scores on the October 6, 2018 SAT are invalid. Our preliminary concerns are based on substantial agreement between your answers on one or more scored sections of the test and those of other test takers. I took certain practice tests in them where I had to answer a few questions. And this is where I would like check it off the ones I got right or wrong. Campbell denies cheating, saying that after the first test in March, she had a tutor and used study books. I wrote a statement myself. My English teacher wrote a statement. My tutor wrote a statement. I sent pictures of my um, practice book and I let them know that I had Khan Academy test preps. With the FSU application deadline three days away, she's now left with three options. Retake the test, cancel her scores and get a refund, or continue to fight and take it up with an arbitrator. No time doing the test did anybody stop her, uh, note that she was doing anything wrong, so therefore she wasn't recognized as a cheater. Her biggest concern, is losing her chance at FSU. It's like a slap in my face. It's like you did better only to get told, oh, well, we don't think you could have did that much better. I did receive a statement from ETS saying we cannot discuss specific student scores. After every test administration, we go great lengths to make sure that all test scores we report are accurate and valid. In order to do so, we sometimes take additional quality control steps before scores are released. So for now, Camilla is going to have to use her March scores to apply for FSU, and she's hoping to be able to update them later on with her October scores. Reporting from Dr. Michael Crop Senior High School, Samantha Bryant, Local 10 News.